Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good evening, this is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. It is the 11th of December, the year of our Lord 2020. It is Friday evening. And tonight our psalm is the 73rd psalm. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Truly God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they have no pangs until death, their bodies are fat and sleek. They are not in trouble as others are. They are not stricken like the rest of mankind. Therefore pride is their necklace. Violence covers them as a garment. Their eyes swell out through fatness. Their hearts overflow with follies. They scoff and speak with malice. Loftily they threaten oppression. They set their mouths against the heavens, and their tongues strut through the earth. Therefore his people turn back to them, and find no fault in them. And they say, How can God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the wicked, always at ease, they increase in riches. All in vain have I kept my heart clean, and washed my hands in innocence. For all the day long I have been stricken, and rebuked every morning. If I had said I will speak thus, I would have betrayed the generations of your children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our prayer for this evening. Lord, the only wise God, whose thoughts and ways are as high above ours as the heavens are high above the earth. Hidden are your ways, and your guidance often beyond our searching out. Work in us such hearts that do not murmur against your judgments, but are always ready to say, You are the Lord my God, and you do all things well. In Jesus' holy name, amen. And tonight, our devotion, our reading is in St. Luke's Gospel, and we're in, still in the first chapter looking at verses uh, Twenty-nine through thirty-four. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. Now remember, the angel Gabriel had come to her and said, "Hail, favored one." And so, being in the presence of an angel and receiving a greeting was probably something that shook her a little bit. So she wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, "Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God." You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Now remember, Mary also was pledged, or actually betrothed, which would be marriage, just not fulfilled yet, to Joseph. And of course, a child should be named after their father. So again, much like uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth naming the child John, Mary is told to name the child Jesus. By the way, which in Hebrew would be Yeshua or Joshua, which means Savior. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Very messianic talk here. His father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. He will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Not only messianic talk, but now eternal messianic talk. 
And Mary, of course, hears all of this, that she is with child. An angel of the Lord is telling her this. And Mary, rather than accepting it at this point by faith, questions it. And her question is a valid one, and one that we, we applaud her for asking. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? How can this be? I've never been with a man. I've never done anything like that. It doesn't seem like this is possible. What are you telling me? I don't have a son. Imagine God promising Abraham and Sarah that they would have a child. Abraham, of course, said, okay, sure, if you say so. But did he believe it? And his wife, Sarah, well, she laughed at it. Come on, you're pulling my leg, old man. This can't be. And then we end up with Zechariah and Elizabeth. Zechariah gets visited by an angel, and the angel tells him, you will have a son. And, of course, Zechariah didn't respond. He was dumbfounded. Literally, silenced until the moment the baby was born. And then he called him John. And now Mary gets the news. How would you react if you were an... Well, in her case she was wed, but they had not come together. If you were keeping yourself pure for marriage, and all of a sudden you found out you were pregnant. Now most women, and most guys that heard the news of the person they are intended for, would say, so who have you been with? And most women would say, it's just not possible. You know, you might call me a country bumpkin, but I still understand how the body works. It's not possible. And Mary asked the angel, how can this be? I have not been with a man. And so this angel, wonderful lead up into that. You will be great. He will be great and called the Son of the Most High. Mary, you're not just going to have a baby. You're going to have the Messiah. Don't be afraid. We're going to see the rest of that dialogue tomorrow night. But that's all for tonight. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you His peace. God's blessings. Have a great night in the Lord.